Hello, everybody. You're here with Claru Beauty with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do at this moment. I'm having to remember to say that up front. <laughs> it's been a couple of days without you. It's been a couple of days without me on video. <laughs> this is Kevin Acoin. I don't know if you heard about him. I hope you have because, uh, you know, it used to be like super huge trendy at some time. And then I don't know why I haven't heard about it that much lately, but uh, of course it's still going strong, of course, still up in the best ones, but uh, I haven't heard of new products with it. And so I was in the mood, if you saw a couple of videos ago, of this kind of grayish tones, darker for the fall, things like that. So I started searching for a contour on those colors and I found this and apparently has like great reviews. It's still going. It came out a long time ago. I mean, several years ago, but it's still happening. This is uh, volume three. Apparently there were two others, volume one and volume two, but they're no longer. This has stayed. So this came and stayed. Now, um, this is the contour book. And I think one of the reasons it has stayed, I mean, first of all, it does come with a mirror, you can see there. And it's so complete in the sense of, it's a palette, right? So it has, contour, 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 but this could be a little bit of bronzing. And then he has bronzing browns and then pink and it's in a shaded way. So you can really play with the tones. And then you have two highlighters, one uh, warmer and one kind of gold. So this one seems for darker sort of skin, uh, more in the peachy. And then this one, of course, it has some yellowish golden sort of highlight and they're, and they're really, they're really good highlights. Well, we're gonna be playing with it. And most important, I think, is this are they, uh, he, what should I say, he or Kevin Aquine um, sells this individually a lot bigger in size. And apparently they're also best sellers. I was really gonna order the medium because I was not looking for a very light shading, but I was very happy to know that all three come in this palette. And so I was like, why not? And, and now that I had it, I've been playing with this and this a lot and I have used this. So we're gonna be trying it out and you'll see what I mean. So I think it's, and, and it's so thin, look at that. It's thin, this is hard and it comes with an envelope. So you can put it in if you wanna make sure that it doesn't open up if you're traveling or whatever, but you can also just put it like this. So if you're a makeup artist, I'm sure you already know about this. Um, this will be so wonderful because it has all the shades for all different skin tones. And uh, so let's play with it. Now it also came with a little, oh, it came with some instructions, of course. I haven't seen them, you know me. A little uh, sculpt, highlight, and warm. Okay, so you are supposed to use the contour and the bronzing. So let's apply a little bit, let's play. The brush that I've been using, which I was very surprised, has been the Sonia G the Sculpt 2. And the reason I've been very surprised is because I started using a smaller brush, you know, like the Cheek Pro, it's a little tinier or even smaller, which is the Mini Cheek. You see that? Because I really just wanted to contour here and that would have been it, very soft and easy and nice. But now I've been using this and loving it. So easy, so fast, so everything. So let me show you what I mean. And of course I'm not, I am wearing, oh. I put some Bobbi Brown Bear Glow Illuminating. And then I put my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation, which is Surat. If you go back to the beginning of my videos and even the ones with my most favorite uh, foundations, I mention it. Why? I love it. I think it gives me the illuminating, the whiteness, the color is perfect, but you don't feel it on. It's a foundation that you do not feel it on. It's enough illuminating without going to shiny and without going to totally matte, and it just, my skin looks radiant. Radiant, I think that's the right word. 
but I was gonna say between the Surat and the number one, the Chanel, I think they're very close, very similar, but I prefer the Surat just because I forget I have it on. Number one, the Chanel is extremely comfortable and uh, it looks great, but I can tell I have some foundation on some, very light, but I can tell. This one, I forget. And this is one of those foundations that eight hours later, <laughs> eight hours later. Sure, you don't look like a fresh makeup. You would like if I just put it on, but it start a, starts fading gradually. So, you know, you still look right. All right, see, cha 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 cha, and I'm not trying the product. I'm a little scared because it's contour. Well, let me try the medium. Okay. So, I'm not complaining, right? Because that was the title of my video. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's, and that's without. That's with, and that's without. I mean, come on, look how beautiful, beautiful, right? I mean, I'm very tempted. Should I apply some of um, Westman Atelier, my favorite biscuit, just to compare? Ooh, yeah, I think I need to do that. Just, I'm curious. I mean, of course, I can just swatch it. But here, I'll do that first. So I'll swatch. So that's Westman Atelier. But I get so happy with the makeup. There's no way to get angry about anything else. Has that happened to you in anything, like when you have a hobby? <laughs> that's why I started my YouTube channel. So this is Biscuit from Westman Atelier. And then we have Light, Medium, and Dark. So it seems like the biscuit might be closer to the dark one, right? I mean, you see how it has some, what would you say, terracotta? Because this one is definitely too gray. This has more brown, but then this one, you know, I never thought of that. Ooh, well, now that I know, let me get a tissue. Perhaps I should apply a little bit of the darkest here. I haven't done that. I haven't done that with you or by myself because I just thought it was too dark. So I'm gonna take the mini for this one and I'm just gonna sculpt deep because, oh my God, those are the closest. All right, so. And it's good that the other one was already there because one thing that I've seen people do is like, now I'm gonna go to the medium and you sort of go on top and then you can even put the light one. And just sort of, I'm applying a little bit above because now I kind of use it as a bronzing sort of thing because the darkest is used as a contour, right? So let me just apply a little bit of this. See the beauty, this is one of my favorites, the beauty of Westman Atelier is the easiness in which it melts into your skin. So you know what I mean? It just blurs, blurs into the skin. <laughs> All right, there you go. So I don't know if you're starting to see the difference. Of course, it's not fair. I put three colors on the other. Of course, it's gonna look like, uh, but let's say you apply like that and then you start applying your bronzer. Now, I don't wanna put Westman Atelier bronzer because that's a little totally different coloring, but let's then apply a little bit of the, this is the, the medium color. And if you notice, I'm just trying to put some crease and then up, crease up. And then of course this little triangle, you see the little triangle and a little bit in, cause I want a little bit of shading there. All right, and then the lightest color. Why, yeah, I'm just trying to see if that whole shading happens. All right, because of the shirt that I'm wearing, I would have applied a little more of a pink blush, but uh, but we're gonna continue with this palette. And even though it does look a little bit, but you see how it's graded, right? Brown to light, light green. The lightest of the pink, um, I don't know how, but it has a little bit of a peach, I find. 
So I'm gonna show you, I, I swatch from three parts of the graded part. So you can tell there's the lightest, there's the medium, the center, and then this, which is supposed to be a little bit brown, it has some of the terracotta, but it has a little bit of that peachiness. I don't know if you could tell, but this one is gorgeous, especially for what's coming for this fall. I don't know, I just thought that this um, was perfect. So let's apply a little bit of blush and I'm gonna be using Cheek Pro. And I am going to go for the center because it's a little more pink. And then a little more of the terracotta that I just described, which is towards the end. I'll show you in a second if you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you notice, this palette is so perfect for all this sort of using different shades, which I'm loving. And then you can even put a little bit of this. See, I put this is the terracotta that I was talking to you about, the very pink. And you can even put this as a pinkish highlight because it does have some kind of I wouldn't say shine, but there's some sparkles in there and sparkles, I'm, I'm talking minute. I mean, yeah, you can't even see them. Maybe it's totally matte. It looks matte on the swatches and everything, but I don't know if you can tell right here, right here, it has a little bit of sort of radiance like this one's wood, this is exaggerated. So this part doesn't look completely matte to me. And in here is a little bit less matte, and then this is more matte. So the radiance is not just in the color. I think it has a little bit, you see there, you can see the spark here. So it's a very interesting. All right. So am I going too detailed on that? <laughs> and last, let's add the highlight. Oh, Dios mío. I'm gonna put the beam, little beam, da 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 on this side. Without beam, with beam. I think this is gorgeous. You could go just with the pinkish, like I show you, has a little spark. So I'm gonna apply this on the lid, a little bit on the lid. Just so you see, that one has the most spark, I think. Look at that. And I didn't want to use more yellow. That one reminds me of the peachy. So imagine you can put a little bit of this terracotta that has a little peach combined with this one. And these two colors, these three colors, mwah. Right now we use a little bit of the gold but more I play with this colors. And of course I use all three, but I think this palette would uh, really work um, for all skin colors. All right, so before I go to something on my lips, I already am wearing mascara, which is the, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, one of my favorites. Uh, if you notice, I've been going back to kind of <laughs> the originals I started the makeup uh, I used to always wear because I love it. And I'll put a little bit on the lips. I wanted to use a balm new to me. This is a sample. Ilya sent me this sample with many, many colors. And so I will be doing a video with all the swatches and uh, available in eight shades. And so I heard great things about this. So to finalize my look, today, I'm gonna to use one of them. And this one of them, I think is called Lullaby. And if you wanna see all the swatches, look at that other video. All right guys, I'm almost done. Ooh. This is feeling so creamy, definitely like a balm, but creamy and good wrap, you know, that kind of waxy or warmy thing that wraps your lips, Vaseline-like, that doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. This is not as heavy as Vaseline would, but that warmth 
Mm. Oh my God, these are super good. If you haven't tried them, I will suggest for you to do that because they feel great on my lips and they give perfect color. Ooh, we might have found a new one and I'm sure it's not as expensive as the Guerlain BV uh, wax ones that I, what are they called? The Kiss Kiss um, B Glow from Guerlain. Um, I am going to do a video on this comparison, so. But that versus what I just applied, I think I like the texture of this ones. This one is the one I just tried. And this is Poppy from BB. But this is warmer. This is kind of lighter. And this is uh, waxier, wraps your lips. Oh my God, I love the look. You have to agree. This is awesome. I like it. <laughs> so let's wrap it up. Old time favorite, new to my collection. Never tried it before. Love it, love it, love it. I really recommend those contour colors. I think uh, I like this sort of look. I hope you like it too. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have this. Maybe it's an old time favorite that you need to take the dust off and take it out. <laughs> hope you join me on this. Uh, maybe because of this style too. I'm um, going back to the 80s. Is that the issue or 90s? What What's my... <laughs> What's my thank here? Well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell on the right hand corner, subscribe, thumbs up, and comment down below. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.